Hi, David. Hello. <laughs> I Hello. do not have sound. Do you want to just give... Dave? You yeah. can hear us, though. Yes. Okay, Yolanda, okay, so, uh, Yolanda's going to give you an update of what's occurred over the weekend. We've had a documentary on us that's run over the weekend. The Portuguese media have had a ma are doing running a massive TV campaign at the moment. So I'll just pass over to Yolanda. Yes, so I, I contacted a journalist and she went to UK and she collected different testimonials of forced adoption. And Portugal just completely exploded. Every people in Portugal, they are completely shocked. And we have major support um, for us now. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know why the sound just came on. It's been off for like three weeks now. The the government, you know, everything is in fiction. And so what, what they're afraid of is fiction is going to be exposed for what it is. The, the, the language to steal children and, and the syntaxing, we're getting, it, things are really mounting up over here in the States as well. Uh, with they're, you know, they're trying to do as much damage to me as possible because I've gotten so big globally with, with the grammar arguments. But them taking your children with fictitious contracts, that's still the number one thing on the table is they're using fraudulent grammar to make an argument about, about adopting children with, a, with fraudulent grammar. And you guys haven't done anything wrong. They're making a presumption to uh, set up an adoption for $100,000 to somebody on a presumption. There's no evidence to support their claims. Each side is going to try and protect their image exactly. uh, because the Internet is very unforgiving. Whatever you put up stays up permanently. Yes. Yeah. But they can't make it go away that you're a natural parent and you had your child taken for nothing. Taking children on a presumption, that means they can take anybody's child under a presumption. Technically, this is communism the same way Mao Zedong did it to all the Chinese children in China. And, and the Queen is doing the same thing. They're stealing children for personal, for, for personal gain. And they control the BBC. They, they control the news. And they're not going to shoot themselves in the foot. So they're going to tell as many lies as they have to. Just like we landed on the moon. That's about the biggest lie there is in the whole world. <laughs> <laughs> that the people that read all their shit up on the internet, that they're trying to destroy me, doesn't change the fact that 5 billion people support my technology and are studying worldwide. Where it doesn't matter how many negative remarks they make, everybody knows that the fraud is always going to continue with their fraud and slander anybody that would expose their fraud. And you guys are in the same boat. The point is, you're getting, you're getting, because they took your child, every child that they've taken, every one of those parents are going to come forward and join with you. You know, you got a million supporters out there that are screaming the same thing that my children were taken by organized crime, which is the government. So, you know, just keep the pressure on. They're not making any friends, especially with all these, you know, the news giving you all this exposure. Yeah. It's still giving you a voice. Yes. You know what you should do next? Put your name in to run for public office. For public what? Then run for public office, like a mayor <laughs> or a, a, anything in public office gives you a stance to stand up and make your arguments with immunity as your pan, as your campaign argument. And they can't slander that. I guarantee you, you're going to, that's, you know, my program running for president under the correct parse syntax grammar gives me total immunity from, slant, from going after every fiction in government, every politician that's in government already. There's three million of politicians in the United States, and I'm immune because I'm talking about correct grammar. Wow. You can do the same thing. You can go go down to the election board, find out what it what it takes to get on a ballot for anything in, in Portugal, and then make it a make it a, a campaign. Both of you can do it. Run for different offices. 
The point is you can stand up and you can get airtime. You get all kinds of pub uh, public support. There, anybody that's ever been screwed by social services will be in your backyard walk, walking around with a banner to support your, your cause. You know, when they take a child, how much damage control do they want to do? They know it's illegal, and they're going to tell as many lies as they have to to keep covering up their, their stealing the child. And, you know, it's 880,000 880, children a year are stolen in the United States by government, social services. So, you know, that's one way to protect yourself is run for public office. Which kind of public office? Are we what, like a, a, a politician? Yeah. And use the stopping of, of, of trafficking children as your campaign orientation. Because if they can take your, your child and you're totally innocent, they can take any all the children in, in Portugal or in England. And turn them into a, turn it into a communist state like China, like China did when Mao Zedong took away all the children and put them in schools to brainwash them. But one thing Mao Zedong did in 18, in 1934, there were 1,200 different dialects in China with a billion people, and he had to unify the language. Today, there's only one, two languages. There's there's Chinese and Old Mon. Uh, 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 Mongolian Chinese. So you, you've got, uh, you can't have a successful country if nobody can communicate. It's called Babel. Yes. It's just like the, the Towers of Babel, when all the people in the planet couldn't talk to each other. And why we've got 5,000 dialects today. So when you have to you have to unify the communication base if you want to have trade. And so running for running for a public office would give you a, a foundation to make your claims. You could even run for social services, the head of social services, to stop trafficking children and show just how many parents, are, you know, has parents to come forward that have had their children taken for trafficking. I mean, that's right up your alley. You have first-hand knowledge of, of, the, of the nightmare that they're putting you through for no reason at all. And if you're qualified to run for office and you're qualified to be a person, to be a mother and father of your own children. Good idea. Yes, it yes. is. Okay. <laughs> that's how I promote my grammar is running for, for, for directorship to to get all the schools in the in the United States and worldwide to use correct grammar. Otherwise they're just gonna keep on making wars with, with fraudulent communications. All right. Okay, thank you, David. David, we don't have no news about the things in England. They are trying to go to the Queen's bench now and yeah, they Mark just have been ignoring everything. Yes. What, what has Mark? What, what, what's Mark been doing? Well, soon they, we've put in our notices to four people that we're going to. We've given them ten days to um, give our baby back, and if they don't, then they will be taken. They will be prosecuted. Uh, Mark is, or Mark's team is, created a common law court, or they're doing it at the moment, or something. I don't fully understand what they're doing, but okay, yeah, what they're doing is they're calling the, they're holding court in a private location like a hotel yes. meeting room on the same level plane. Everyone entering the room must sign a contract that says that Mark is the judge in that room. The, the family services have been sued or summoned to come to court to make argument. If they don't show up, they will be faulted. The forensic evidence will be published. Yes. And they can publish on, the, on our website if they want. On the on the uh, uh, postal court po postal postal court website, yes. and we'll put it up there. Yes, I'm I'm getting ready to do a whole bunch of stuff with the insurance with the insurance fraud. Great. Um, that how, thing that thing oh. that thing about the Lloyds. Uh, how is it going, David? 
Well, the, the minute you 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 said you threatened Lloyd's with my uh, with me correcting their grammar, they went ahead and they canceled my homeowner's insurance policy and my car insurance policies on all my cars. That's okay. I just finished syntaxing 14 pages of, of, of uh, State Farm, which is 100% fraud. Uh, so you're, you're still working on that thing for the Lloyds insurance? Well, I don't have any Lloyds over here, but I've got everything else. So in regards to that threat, will that, ha will that be followed through? Oh, yeah, here we go. Homeowners policy. Yeah, the, guy had an accident. the guys have had accidents and people getting hurt, and they don't cover it. It comes under the exception clauses that they won't they won't cover anybody. They only pay out on one percent of the claims and harvest everybody else. It's a real. All the insurance are doing that. They only pay one percent and only ten cents on a dollar. Yeah, we've heard that. It's a hidden tax. Will you follow up the threat with Lloyd's? Will that happen? If I get a Lloyd's policy, I will. Okay. If you, what? If you get some Lloyd's policy. If I get a In other words, you can contact an insurance company or anybody down at the docks. All overseas shipping contracts with Lloyd's. And... Uh, with that said, they can have, uh, they would have an insurance policy and how it's written. And if they'd like to have it syntax, they can send it to me and I'll syntax it. And then you can post, we can post it up on the web. So, Sorry, I'm not understanding you. So I'm confused. The same way I'm syntaxing the homeowner's policy, all the homeowner's policies for fam, uh, all, we've got probably 10 different insurance companies. They all come from the same source, from Lloyd's. They all use the same language except the name of the company. And after it's in text, it's a big fat zero. So therefore, all insurance companies say nothing. Even the word insurance means no surety contract. And once that's published, all the insurance, no matter what it is, worldwide will collapse. Can you give us an instruction, David, please, in regards to this? I don't have a Lloyd policy here. Lloyd basically deals as an underwriter with risk management insurance in the United States for public utilities and uh, government agencies, which have all gone into private self-insured policies now. Because once I sent texts and notified them that their policies they were buying were fraud and never had to be paid, they realized that they were paying for nothing after the home after the mortgage contracts were exposed. When they went ahead and they looked at the syntax on the insurance that all municipalities in the United States were not protected, they all went to self-insured where all buy, where they all created their own insurance policy internally for the people that that uh, work for them. It's called GEICO, Government Employees Insurance Company. And I syntax them and put it up on my website. And I've been going and, and adding more and more of these, these insurance policies. Yeah, it's all on the website. And I've already sent a letter, a letter to uh, the farmers and State Farm, both federal lawsuits. And those went back to Lloyd's. So I'm already published with these people. And of course, they're saying they're doing plausible deniability. We can't understand a correct parse syntax grammar. We can only understand adverb verb, which says nothing. So, so it's, it's just a game they're playing. Yeah. The, port authority, the port authorities have the names of all those ships that come and go from Portugal ports. And the port authorities can then put you in contact maybe with... Uh, what type of insurance these these carriers are carrying. 
and who the underwriters are. And then once you find out who the underwriter is for Lloyd's of London, then the insurance can be syntax and then posted on the web. So the world can see exactly what they're buying, which is nothing. And that goes for all airplanes. You know, all airplane ticketing, when a person dies in an airplane crash, they say a soul, S-O-U-L, was lost. Not how many people died. Because people are cargo, they, they paid for, they bought a ticket, so therefore they became bills of lading as cargo. And their names were all known to Gare as dead people when they got on the plane, so therefore dead people can't be claimed to be dead, only the souls were lost. So there, this is the way the governments, the governments all around the world have killed all the people on planet Earth so that they're not liable for personal damages. And that's the game they play. They say dead people, mothers and fathers, can't possibly uh, have a living child. A child is an issue of state and an issue of, of a mother. So that, that's the game they play. And the state says we take liability for all children under the age of 18. And only a mother or natural father that's been proven by blood type can, can be in the same room at the same time with the child. In the meantime, the state goes out there and steals children on a full-time basis, keeping their social services and orphanages stocked full of children so they can build a public. It's just it's a money-making racket. That's all it is. We 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 are the natural parents. Uh, we are the natural parents. So why, right, I understand that. So why aren't they giving it our baby back? Because that we have live life claim. There are, but it's our. They baby. want you to confess that they have jurisdiction over you by you walking into their court system. Yes, as a non guerre dead person. And from that position, they can arrest you, put you in jail, and keep the child while you're silenced in their jails. Because you've left planet Earth and you've walked into their foreign vessel in dry dock. We asked for correctness when we went in the court, and they threw us out. Right, the because they cannot be correct. They must lie 100% of the time. They can only commit perjury. Yes, we understand that. Yes, we okay. Understand that. Do you know how to I mean, get you insurance? See, the, the, the vessels, before they can be loaded or unloaded, have to file insurance premiums with the port authorities in case somebody gets hurt while unloading the vessel. So the port authorities would have copies of uh, insurance policies that Lloyd's of London underwrites under international trade agreements. So you, requ you require yourself, you would need a, an insurance policy for Lloyd's of London, basically, so you can syntax it. Yeah, by syntax, it, yeah, post it up there, then every shipper in the world would now know they've been cheated. And under the fraud, under the word fraud and fictitious conveyance of language, Title 18, 1001, and all 250 countries use the same title site of fictitious conveyance of language So as a crime. We, all the passports issued worldwide have the same charges on them. If you have a passport, read it. It talks about fiction language, and yet the passport itself is entirely written in fiction language. <laughs> so, with with your threat to with your threat to Lloyd's of London, we need to follow. It's not, it's not a threat. It's 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 being correct. Okay, with it's your, with the correctness to Lloyd's of London. Yes, the education. It's the word correctness. You're always correcting. The law requires you to be correct. Correct. Yes. And to correct anything you know to be a lie. For you to correct them, we need to follow f follow through with that message to Lloyd's with the syntaxing the insurance policy. Am I un yes. comprehending this correctly? That's correct. And we need specifically Lloyd's of London ins underwriters, is it? Lloyd's of London insurance. Lloyd's 
might be able to download it off the internet. I don't know. I can check it on my side. Okay, David. Thank you very much. We're just exchanging ideas here to get to the bottom of the, the crux. Yes. Uh, all, all our recordings with you, we always pass on to Mark as well. Mark always listens to our recordings with you. That's good. Well, that's all I got to share with you today. All right, I'll let you go. Thank you, David. Okay, thank you. Nice to talk to you. Thank you very much. Well, at least my sound works now. I can communicate with people again. <laughs> that's it, yeah. <laughs> right. Bye for now, thank David. You. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye.